Hey friend, welcome to Mom Talk. We are talking relationship priorities today. So I'm Anna and today I have with me Carly, Christine and Judy. And we, when we're preparing to do Mom Talk, we usually get together and we talk about yeah. some of the challenges and things that we're dealing with because we figure you probably are too. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges is keeping our husbands a higher priority than our children. So I want to throw it out there to you. Do you keep your husband a higher priority? Is it easy? Is it hard? Oh, Carly. It's very easy for me to keep my husband um, first priority. Yeah. We do a lot together. We um, go on a date at least once a week. I we know. Every time I'm awesome. on Facebook, there's always these pictures <laughs> right. of the places you guys go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we just went to a cruise together <laughs> for my birthday. He surprised me. for fun. And uh, we go away at least twice a year, just okay. away. Wow. And I tell you what, it can just flame your marriage mm. in ways that you never thought imaginable. Right. So it's awesome. Yeah. And it's so important to get to know that person as you become parents you change right. to True. change together you know go out together get to know each other right. as you're becoming parents and changing really that's so important mm -hmm. yeah I mean I think I don't you don't want to lose who you are as a couple because yeah. I think at some point right. those kids mm -hmm. they're gone. are go away right and then it's just you guys right. and you know do you know each other do you love each other mm -hmm. um, you know Chris and I try to get away too um, and that is a great thing right. and it has to be at least two days because yeah, you take a that. day at least to relax yeah, unwind. Nice. to mm -hmm. unwind from the all your yeah. responsibilities and then um, but we put the kids to bed at a specific time yeah. every night yeah. there my kids are not up until 11 o'clock at night they're yeah. they're in their bedrooms at by nine o'clock at night awesome. right and we have you know an hour two hours to ourselves yeah. that's a big time when we get mm -hmm. the time together as well I think it's so easy at least for me to put my kids neediness yes. they're young. on the they're first priority because they're young yeah, I they're see young. them and I it's more natural for me to be unselfish to them right. and wear myself out for them right. than it is my husband because I think oh he's an adult and he can take care of himself yes. but yes. when I get my priorities straight it ta usually mm -hmm. takes some mommy time some me time alone yes. okay. if I get that time alone for myself yes. I get refocused my relationship with my husband is a lot better yeah. my kids are a lot better and when I put my husband as a priority I do get that extra strength and that grace that right. God gives me to yeah. take care it's of my kids then. Yeah. It's a God flow, yeah. really. But it's hard right. work yeah. for, for sure. both of us. Yep. We really have to work at it. Yeah, I can say when my kids were little, like your kids are, yeah. my husband was not my priority at all. Yeah. Kids, because they are so needy it's and true. they're always hanging Physical, on us and you know, right. pulling yeah. from us. But as they've gotten older, mm -hmm. it has become easier. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I would say our marriage suffered for it too when they were so mm -hmm. little and mm -hmm. our marriage is so much stronger because we are able to yeah, um, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Take the time. absolutely even when they're little right. you still have yeah. to take the time yeah. so um let's let's expand on that a little bit talk to me yeah. about like do you have a story or of, of a challenge or some way that mm -hmm. that it really has worked to keep your husband a priority yeah, well, my husband can go out with me at any time, at all the time. Like, it's, he's always like, let's do this vacation. Let's do I'm like, what about the kid? No, we need a family vacation. Right. Uh -huh. um, so that kind of frustrates me with him. Like, okay. where's your sensitivity? That, you know, and uh, so we had to work that out a little bit. Right. Um, and, it, and it's helped, you know, mm -hmm. in, in so many areas for he's given and I've given and, sure. you know, finding that balance. Because I think a mom tends to gravitate all towards her kids yeah, yeah, and absolutely. you need to find that yeah. center again to right. give to him and really it makes it know when you go away together when you do those things mm -hmm. it builds confidence in a relationship which sure. equals trust right. and then you're able to build right. on that That's well I good. think time alone even if it is just that time at the end of the day where you say mm -hmm. you know what it's time for you all to go to bed and it's time for daddy and I mm -hmm. to have some time mm -hmm. it helps you to be a team uh, yeah. Because I just yeah. think parenting as a team is so important, oh, sure. you know, because mm -hmm. if, if one parent is doing yes. this and one parent is doing this, the kids yeah. know that right. and they, they are going to exploit place. that yeah. and they are going, yeah. you're not going to create successful yeah. children okay. in that you way. Apart. You yeah. have to be a team yeah. in terms of your do. parenting. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Well, Jacinda has something to tell us about this relationship topic. You should always communicate with one another in all of your relationships. Um, even if you're doing something like having salad 
which is an area that we didn't communicate about in our marriage until about five years in. I always made lettuce um, salads for my husband using the greenest part of the lettuce because I wanted to give him the best. He, um, however, would eat that even though he wanted the white part of the lettuce because he thought that was the best. And because neither one of us communicated with the other one about our needs or our desires, we both settled for the lesser lettuce in our relationship. So communicate with one another. That is so true. I love it. Though. That's a great example. I wanted to talk about that communication piece too because I noticed my husband and I, when we have strife, when I'm putting the kids first, it's because we're not communicating. Mm -hmm. And we found that time too, like you, when they go to bed, that's yeah. the best time for us. Yeah. But also, we're not mind readers. We can't yeah. read our husband's minds. Yeah. They can't read our minds. Yeah. So True. even if it's something very simple, like last night, we had a story, putting the kids to bed. Daddy does that. He's awesome with that. Good. And he was putting them to bed, and I was just like, I need the time with my husband. I need oh, to yeah. talk. Right. And so when he came down, finally, after our clingiest child went to bed, uh -huh. I said, you know what, we really need to work on that because we need time together. Yeah. And so I think that communication piece, mm -hmm. it's huge. Don't expect your husband to read your mind mm -hmm. or think that you can read right. his. Mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah, very true. Well, the, I think the biggest challenge that my husband and I have faced is doing those date nights. Like, I think yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. You and your husband do it once a week. Like, yeah. if, if we did it once every three months, we were doing it for <laughs> Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> But we did a date night segment mm -hmm. on Mom yeah. Talk, and I'm telling you that really changed my perspective mm -hmm. because we shared a statistic about how date nights really do strengthen your marriage yes. and to do something creative. Because mm -hmm. we would, when we did go out, would just go out to dinner and. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my husband was more interested in the food on yeah. his plate than he <laughs> was or yeah. yeah. the TV in front of him. Right. Yeah. And so, to have that challenge to do something creative together yeah. kind of like took him away from the food, right. yes, to, <laughs> to focus on us. And so we have intentionally been trying to put it on the calendar, yeah. make room in our It'll lives. It'll get done if it's on the calendar, yeah. most yes. likely. Yes. So and put it, it on there. It does make it a difference. Like we have a lot of fun and we build that friendship mm -hmm. that, and it's not all business all the yeah. time. Right. So, well, you know, we always like to leave you with some encouragement for your day. Today, the scripture is Luke 12, 34, and it says, wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also mm -hmm. be. So do you ever feel like the desire for your husband has been washed away with the flood of parenting responsibilities? These are the years when our children demand much of our time and attention, but we cannot neglect making investments into the relationship mm -hmm. that is to be second only to God. So I challenge you today to find one small way to let your husband know, hey, honey, I'm so thankful for you. <laughs> and as you deposit treasure into your marriage, your desire for your husband will grow. And that is not only good for you and your husband, but for your children as well. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.